Welcome to this pro-Trump conservative show. Yes, I like Donald Trump for his policies and for his style. There, I said it. I'm straight with you. When too many in our media and our government are not straight with their audience, with the people they serve. And I quite frankly don't understand it, but it is definitely, definitely happening. So one prime example is the memorial for Officer Sicknick and what happened to Officer Sicknick. First, we talked a little bit about this last night. The memorial, nearly a month after he died, a lot of us believe that this was stretched out on purpose to bring it as close as possible to the impeachment trial that starts next week to give it an extra emotional charge. Also this, how did Officer Sicknick die? Well, I believed, you probably believe that he was hit in the head with a fire extinguisher. Now there's information that, well, that might not be true at all. I wanna to go to CNN, yeah, CNN, and thank Mark Levin actually for bringing this to our attention. Look at this from earlier this week, tucked away, blinked, you might have missed it. Investigators struggle to build murder case in the death of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Let's go inside this story, please. Investigators are struggling to build a federal murder case regarding fallen U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, vexed by a lack of evidence that could prove someone caused his death as he defended the Capitol during last month's insurrection. It goes on. Authorities have reviewed video and photographs that show Sicknick engaging with rioters amid the siege, but have yet to identify a moment in which he suffered his fatal injuries, law enforcement officials familiar with the matter said. Also, to date, little information has been shared publicly about the circumstances of the death of the 13-year veteran of the police force, including any findings from an autopsy that was conducted by D.C.'s medical examiner. Finally, this for us, one possibility being considered by investigators is that Sicknick became ill after interacting with a chemical irritant like pepper spray or bear spray that was deployed in the crowd. Now, let's be very clear. Officer Sicknick was a hero. He died a hero. He died in the line of duty. But we were told one thing about the manner of his death that may not be true. Also, you probably haven't heard this. It was reported by the New York Post, but again, very scant attention. Let's take a look, please. According to the New York Post, an opinion piece, what the left wants to ignore about slain Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick. Sicknick was a Trump supporter himself. Far from sharing the views of the resistance, he had written letters to his congressman opposing Trump's impeachment. Isn't that wild? Isn't that something? Isn't that interesting? They don't say that, do they? They don't report that because it does not comport to the narrative they want to drive home. Meanwhile, Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell, they get to continue with their agenda, which now it's so obvious to everybody has nothing to do with the business of the people. And each seem to be exploiting the death of Officer Sicknick, exploiting the events of January 6th. Both seem to have a serious, serious problem with Donald Trump, Donald Trump, of course. And what happened on January 6th was awful, but we deserve the truth, don't we? And this event should not be made worse with distortions, lies, and omissions. And speaking of distortions, lies, and omissions, well, I think we do need to talk about Jen Psaki, the press secretary. Now look, hasn't been caught in a lie, no, but boy, oh boy, she doesn't seem to know her stuff, does she? whether the president has made a decision on keeping or keeping the scope of Space Force. Wow, Space Force. It's the plane of today. I'll circle back with you if there's more to convey. Um, I'll have to just circle back with you. We can circle back with I'm, you. I'm happy to circle back with you. I can circle back. Uh, well, this is a priority to the president. Uh, it's an interesting question, but uh, we'll, we'll circle back. I'm happy to circle back, but I'll have to circle back with you on it. It's a good question, but we'll circle back with you on this today. Okay, she's not that good, not impressing too many people, even Democrats, believe me. Uh, but how about this? Just a few months ago, while she was working uh, for Joe Biden, she tweeted something that was awful and, quite frankly, homophobic. Now, stay with me on this. Only in 2020 does Lady G get to push a bunch of debunked conspiracy theories while questioning Sally Yates, an American hero. Now, Lady G... Lady Gaga? No, not talking about Lady Gaga. That is uh, apparently a, a Beltway nickname for one United States senator. 
And there have been rumors about that side of their sexuality for a long time. Straight, gay. By the way, in this day and age, quite frankly, who cares? It has no bearing on anything. But Jen Psaki, uh, as a 40-plus-year-old woman working for Joe Biden, thought she'd have fun with this as recently as August. This is not some stunt she pulled as a college sophomore like that CNN correspondent I heard about. Nope. And you know what? This hateful tweet, they don't ask her about it. Everyone's talking about it. I mean, it's out there. But you get to ask Jen Psaki questions every single day, and they won't bring up this unpleasant topic. There are some groups that are pushing a new for the president to forgive all student loan debt. And where, where does he stand on that? I just wanted to ask if uh, President Biden will sign the refugee executive order today. And Has the president been briefed yet from Secretary Yellen's meeting this morning with financial regulators? What is the president's view on the bill that Senator Romney is expected to introduce today? You see, it was like some middle school seventh grade class got to go to the White House today and ask questions of the press secretary. Lame, lame, lame. Remember what they used to do to Kaylee McEnany? Every question was designed to ruin her life. They never laid a glove on her, though. Uh, folks, I had a very vivid, vivid example today in my life about how rigged the system is and how those reporters down there do not have their eye on the ball at all. Uh, here's something um, I want you to know about me. I love McDonald's. I go all the time. So after a recent trip, I, um, well... I tweeted about it, but I made up about 90% of the tweet, okay? Twitter, twi Twitter's not a serious environment, right? You have fun on it. You say all kinds of stuff, right? I do. Do you? Are you on Twitter? Let me show you what I did today, about 10 o'clock this morning. I think it's great. All right, there's my tweet. I went to McDonald's, and there was no McFish. I love saying McFish. It's funnier than fish filet. On the menu, what the hell? When did that happen? Is it permanently banned, or is it just my local McDonald's? I demanded to see the manager. Not true. But they accused me of being a male Karen, so I walked out. I touched on some social issues, I think. I had a little bit of fun. I amused myself. Well, this tweet went, like, kind of super-duper viral. Let me show you something here. Four million impressions, okay? That's like a big deal. For a little while, it was trending, okay? Let's see here. World Cancer Day was number one. AOC lied. That's another story. It was number two. My McFish! My McFish was number four. Greg Kelly has people confused after sharing that story. Uh... And it made it made news. The Huffington Post wrote about it. All right. So here's what the media were not focusing on today. Here I am, an anchor, having a little fun on Newsmax, and I know exactly what I'm doing. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, the president of the United States, goes to the State Department to make a big speech. Joe does not leave the White House uh, very often. And guess what? being Joe Biden, he told a big, fat lie to the world. You have great personal courage. I've been with some of you when we've been shot at. I've been with some of you when we've been shot at. Oh, Joe, that's an old, tall tale he said before. He's talking to diplomats. Some of them have been in hot spots around the world. And Joe has said before that he's been shot. And he's been called out on it, shot at. Let's take a look at the headline the last time he was caught, okay? 2007. You take all the troops out, you better have helicopters ready to take those 3,000 civilians inside the green zone where I've been seven times and shot at. Seven times in the green zone, I believe that. And shot at, nope. I think there's one more. He had to revise it. No one got up and ran from the room. It wasn't that kind of thing. I was near where a shot landed. He had to change the story a little bit later. Come clean, okay? But he's president now, and he's also kind of a congenital liar. We've shown you evidence of that. Anyway, that's pretty bold stuff. The president of the United States, again, as soon as he said it, I'm like, I remember when he got caught the last time. You would think that that would be a big story, you know, right? Joe Biden lying. Well, let's take a look right here. A Google News search of Joe Biden at the State Department. Let's see. Joe Biden declares America is back and announces major foreign policy shift, reversing Trump foreign policy, live updates. 
It's all what the administration wants, okay? All kind, vanilla stories. Only one news organization wrote this story so far, the New York Post. And thank goodness for the New York Post. They also were not afraid to uh, write about Hunter Biden's laptop. Remember that? Hmm. All right. But Joe, he um, has a hard time with the truth. He sometimes blames it on, uh, well, just absent-mindedness. He's been doing that for about 30 or so years. Do you feel you're able to control, to put in the vernacular of your mouth, that you can think before you talk? Well, I've been in this business for 15 years. Um, and uh, I, uh, um, I let my record of 15 years versus the transgression that you're referring to uh, stand. And you, can make, you all can make that judgment. I feel very capable of uh, using my mouth in sync with my mind. Uh, that was 33 years ago, 15, 48 years. Joe Biden is no better at linking the mouth with the mind, or maybe he is. I don't know. All right, folks. Um, what'd you think, huh? Oh, and thanks again to the good people at McDonald's. Only kidding. Okay. And thank you. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.